My name is Alyssa Smale and I'm a senior ACS chemistry major. I was a part of the Research First program, which lets students come in and do research the summer after they graduate. Before I was even a freshman, I was in the lab for four weeks right out of high school. My research project right now um, bridges my interest in forensics with my chemistry degree. And what we're doing is analyzing a series of red and pink nail polishes using infrared spectroscopy. And basically what happens is each type of nail polish has its own chemical composition. We're able to look at those because they each absorb light in a little bit different way. Um, and we're creating a database with some of the issues that we have where you would be able to, if you found an unknown sample of nail polish, you could cross-reference it with the database. We use what's called an FTIR, which stands for Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy. And basically what it does is it passes light through your sample and because each type of polish is made up of different chemical components, they'll each absorb light in a different way. So they create what's called a spectrum, which is just looks like a graph with a series of lines on it and they'll each produce kind of like their own fingerprint almost that allows you to differentiate between different samples. The other part of our project, in addition to analyzing these nail polish samples, is a technique called chemometrics, which has to do with analyzing the software through different statistical methods. And what we're trying to do with this is analyze our polishes to see how the spectra are different and if we can really tell them apart using this software. And then the software has a second application that's going to allow us to take spectra on one instrument and then be able to move our database from one instrument to the next because every instrument in every lab is different. Now that we have this model that allows us to identify polish is we want to see how well it works. So one thing I did was I took a bunch of fake nails and painted them with a couple of the different polishes and I buried them out in the soil and I put a couple in a, a stream on campus and I left them out there for 15 weeks and we're seeing if they degrade over time, if our model can still identify them or if, if it kind of distorts the, the chemical composition enough that the model doesn't work anymore. But we're finding that it doesn't really have much to do with it and we're still able to identify. This project kind of has two major um, branches that it could take. One would be to add more polishes into the database, and then the second is to work on the transfer part of it that allows it to move from instrument to instrument. So I'm, by the time I graduate, we're kind of going to put a stop on what I can do with it, but they're looking to see if someone coming up is going to want to take over this project going forward and see how it can be expanded.